Let's give it a little whack. Hopefully this cop is nice. I just killed this thing. I am a complete idiot. Welcome to Legit Alex's Auto Sales. I am Legit Alex and today I am proud to offer to you guys a fine Mercedes specimen, a 2005 E55 AMG station wagon, one of only 129 ever made for this year. And you can own one of the nicest examples to date for only 72 easy payments, a 429.99 plus tax title, license, and dock fee. So let's take a look at what could be your next due ride. Oh yeah. There is a lot to love about this E55 AMG station wagon, but we must start off with these custom one-off factory forged 16-piece alloy wheels. Each spoke is a piece, and these were designed in part by BMW, Lorenzo, Brabus, and AMG, and wrapped in a special Autobahn design tire rated at 218 miles per hour. Now, moving along, this is what you want to look out when you're buying any concourse level show car. You got to make sure that they've left the factory yellow clear bra protection over the headlights. That is huge. Underneath all of that yellow film is a pristine, beautiful headlight. This is the aerodynamic package, so it is missing the Mercedes star in the front. And this does have the special, you guys have heard about this, the special factory passenger side cooling vent in the bumper right here that directs airflow right Right into the brake vents and it does also have the center vent that sends air to this custom molded grill right behind the heat exchanger so very very important very very rare and i'm not sure how many racers we have out there but this is also on the passenger side it's very important this is a speed dent that lowers drag coefficient by 0.0012 now something else that's very important obviously when you're looking at a show car is rust and the condition of the body. So just take a look at how straight the panels are on this car. There isn't a speck of corrosion whatsoever. And the wheels still retain their perfect contrast between the two-tone darker lip and the silver center. The fronts really, really show this nicely. The rear of the E55 AMG is all business. You'd think this car was built yesterday. And also something that's very, very important is the lowered ride height in the rear. This is a special raked design. It actually picks up air from the front, scoops it underneath the car, and lowers the back end to plant it when you're going around the Autobahn and taking out Porsches and Ferraris and Lamborghinis at your local track. Very, very important. Now, this car does have the special speed rails on top, again, lowering drag coefficiency compared to one without the rails, this time by 0 0.0249. And the interior on the E55 is equally as impressive as the exterior. You're not going to find any imperfections in this interior whatsoever. You get your keyless go heated and cool dynamic seats and plenty of cargo space. Not that you're ever going to store anything inside of this wagon. And let's take a look at the mileage. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's hang on. It's an instrument cluster blackout package mode. Hang on one second. This is a, a factory tool to take it out of uh, factory cluster blackout package mode and there are the power beeps we can hear them yep those are power beeps different beeps than the normal e-class and let's take a look at the mileage here there you go it's only been driven 23,262 miles unbelievable and another home run from Legit Alex's Auto Sales. If you want to reserve this beauty behind me, it is a simple $5,000 non-refundable cash deposit you can send via Western Union. Link and instructions down below. And remember, here at Legit Alex's Auto Sales, our number one goal is big, huge prof. I mean, big, huge customer satisfaction. Are you going to look like that? I don't know. Well, I performed the ultimate cardinal YouTube sin. This is worse than copying off someone else. I copied off myself. I bought an exact replica of a car that I already featured on the channel that I already did a complete video series on. And that would be my actually pristine yet dirty and kind of missing a grill 2005 E55 AMG station wagon. So this one is exactly the same, except it has one more feature, a power lift gate that makes a weird groaning sound when you use it. This one doesn't have that, thank God. So this car 
really is a one owner. It came with a stack of receipts. It was daily driven by its original owner in Boston, hence the snow tires. And with 232,000 miles, he really did drive this every single day, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous. I've always wanted to buy a super crazy high performance car like this and drive it every single day. I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section if you're a weirdo like me. Now, you guys may be wondering why I bought roughly 2% of all of the total 2005 E55 station wagon. And it's a good question. It's quite simple though. This was just a smoking deal. So I paid $18,000 for this car that needed some work and I only paid $7,000 for this one. It is a one owner clean Carfax. It came with a stack of receipts, but it does have 232,000 miles. But unlike cars, oh, I don't know, like an E60 M5, this is a car that you can buy with some miles. This thing runs and drives beautifully. Cold AC, the suspension actually does raise up. It's been sitting for at least three months without being started. And mechanically, I haven't lifted it up or anything, but it seems decent. We have some lights on the cluster, some brake pulsation and some suspension stuff maybe going on uh, and some snow tires. But other than that, other than that and the rust and a few dents and the cracked bumper and the headlights and the interior. Other than that, this thing is actually really, really nice. So what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to give it a little legit Alex restoration and then I'm going to flip this car. And if you guys are curious as to when I sell cars or when I buy cars, I actually just picked up another new to me, but really used and broken, really special AMG car from someone you guys may know. If you ever want to know any of this stuff before the video comes out, just follow me at Legit Street Cars on Instagram and Facebook. I'll even leave you a link down below and you'll have all this information before the videos even come out. And all of that for 72 easy payments of $0.0000 a month. No tax title, license or doc fee either. It's a good deal. All right, so with a jumper connected, Let's fire this thing up. Oh, let's see. Keyless go? No, keyless go doesn't work. Probably not getting fixed. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. Let's play how many lights does this Mercedes have? ESP, ABS, low fuel, battery, visit, workshop. The check engine light would probably be there. Oh, alternator had the battery not been dead for so long. All right, cool. All right, so we got some ABS issues, but this thing can sit for months. Fired up, absolutely no smoke whatsoever from the tailpipe. The engine is in excellent condition. You guys can hear it right now. No ticking, no nothing. It's perfect. And I do have the bumper off of this car, which is missing a grill, I messed it up. I got a new one on order. Um, but this used to have the factory E55 bumper that was replaced two years ago and painted the exact same 040 paint code. And I have that right over here. So I got the grill and this basically mint condition bumper. This is really nice. You can't see it right now. I'll show it to you, I promise. Um, and it's in the off-road ML. And yes, I fully understand that I need to get myself out of this 2000s Mercedes AMG era that I love so much. I need to move on and I will, I will, after the next car after this wagon, I will. Yeah, hey, the steering wheel is nice now. The ABS light and all that stuff is gone. So we ran this thing for a couple hours, charged up the battery a little bit. That stuff's good. Shift's perfect. Oh, ABS is back, ESP's back. <laughs> it tricked me. All right, let's give it a little whack. Oh, you know what? There's a panel that I didn't really tighten up all the way. Uh, Might have lost. Did we lose something? All right, that was a big Alex fail right there. We almost lost this guy. <laughs> I had taken this loose like six months ago. I don't even remember why, but I forgot to put uh, the screws in, except for one. I actually did that on purpose to show you guys the cargo capability of a wagon. We can fit that huge piece of plastic in the back without a problem. That's why I did it. So anyway. Oh, on a dime. Oh yeah. Shifts perfectly, runs perfectly, has all 469, way underrated horsepower. I think it had more than that from the factory. Um, 516 pound-feet of torque I think these came with. And you can feel it, so. Yeah, so far mechanically this thing is in great shape. Uh, I drove it just for a day or two when I first got it. 
um, because I don't know how this is possible, but out of the 10 cars I had, this was the only one that ran and drove. Like a few of them were taken apart, some of them were broken, so I had to drive this thing. And uh, it was in good shape. That was a long time ago, it's been sitting for a while. But um, yeah, it drives straight, it drives really nice. Going 40, another whack. I felt a little underpowered actually right there. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, it's got no, it's got no supercharger. Could be the pump for the intercooler, very common on these. Uh, let's give it the old key cycle. Oh wait, oh. The battery's bad. Do we have the jumper? Probably not. Ah, darn it. I just, killed this thing and the battery is bad. I totally forgot. Oh, we have no chance. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. All right. It's a wonderful day, guys, wonderful day. I am a complete idiot. Had I not shut this thing off, we'd be in a lot better shape than we are right now. Hopefully this cop is nice. I have no plates on the thing. I got this car out of Boston and my friend Rich, Rich Rebuilds, he went and looked at the car for me and grabbed the title which he still hasn't mailed to me, so I haven't gotten plates, so this thing is not really the most legit legally. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen right now, but Mancuso's is coming with another jumper pack. You are the man. Thanks. But. So Rich kind of has me by the you know what's right now for not sending that title. And uh, speaking of you know what's, this is a great time for an ad transition for today's video sponsor, Manscaped. This is the Perfect Package 3.0 and it's a complete men's grooming kit that includes everything you need to look and feel your best and it's led by the revolutionary Lawnmower 3.0. You may have heard of this as a first class men's you know what trimmer, which it is, but it's also a full body shaver trusted by over 2 million guys. This thing will leave you smoother than this ad transition and check out these stats. 7,000 RPM motor, a bright LED light, it's waterproof and has skin safe technology so no cuts or nicks. Treat yourself and your lady this Valentine's Day, and don't forget, you gotta smell good too. Manscaped has you covered with their new refined cologne, and the best part is you're gonna get 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com or by clicking my link below and using coupon code CARS20. All right, we made it. I didn't get arrested. Um, he ran the VIN. I explained to him that the car is from Boston, and I just bought it, yada, yada, yada. And uh, we're like a block away from Mancuso, so I just, like, we're going we're going back to Mancuso's, okay? Not taking any more chances here. Rich, I need that title, dude. It's been 10 months. Please, please. I'm going to go to jail over this. All right, so we gave it a key cycle. And hold on, we got one, we got a couple blocks here. Let's just see. Oh, no. No. You know what? It's in limp mode. That's what it is. It won't even downshift or anything. Probably has something to do with that ABS, ESP, BAS, brake service, low battery convenience features, like pretty much everything's on right now. So, yeah, you know, nothing I can't handle. Did I pass the place? Yep. Okay. Oh, she's stuck in like third gear. Oh, that's all the way down. It's stuck in probably third gear. This is bad. Okay, so you know we're gonna watch this car next. I can't wait, I've been saving it for this video. Look at how nasty it's gotten. Uh, and I may even do one of those kind of cool slow motion-y montages or cinematic video thingies that some YouTubers do where they're blasting the car. I usually don't do that. But in this case, I think it'll look cool. Uh, but after that, we're gonna lift this thing up in the air and find out exactly what it needs because I gotta order a ton of parts. Um, we are at Mancuso Collision Custom in Glenview, Illinois. So we're gonna take care of this rust as well. So whoever's gonna be the new owner eventually will get these wheels with the snow tires, but it did come with the factory E55 wheels as well. Um, and some interior parts have been taken apart. I was taking uh, parts from this wagon to put on that wagon, but I have uh, bought those parts again. It's just a piece of glass and some trim. So those are going on. We're gonna be cleaning up the paint a little. Uh, the stickers right there were so I could measure and line up my new decals after I had this thing. Uh, painted, so it's nice to have an E55 wagon parts car. Um, I'll see if I can find a new seat bottom for the driver's side seat. Everything else is in pretty good condition, just needs a cleaning, needs this little mirror here. I'm pretty sure my dent guy can fix up that speed dent. So with the factory wheels, no dent, a fresh bumper, clear headlights, a nice cleaning, maybe a little bit of a buff job, 
some minor rust repair back there, and then whatever mechanical stuff we find, I think this is going to be a very, very nice entry level wagon, probably still gonna be the cheapest one in the country. And comment down below what you think it'll be worth after I kind of spruce it up a little bit. All right, without further ado, let's get over into the wash bay over there and watch a bunch of dirt roll off this thing. cleans up pretty good look at this thing doesn't look half bad except now that it's not completely covered in dirt i have discovered a few other minor minor blemishes on this fine fine wagon and that would be the rear bumper yeah, i think we're gonna have to paint this it is quite nicked up no cracks or anything major um, but not a huge deal because we're gonna have to uh, fix up this rust and paint this area and go into the bumper to do it properly. So this isn't gonna be a show car style restoration. We're just gonna do kind of the major stuff like the bumpers, like the wheels, taking off the clear bra, fixing any obvious dents. Um, and then I think it's gonna be more than a presentable driver and it just runs perfectly. All right guys, first time going underneath this wagon. A little bit of a rattle there from the heat shield, no biggie. Wow, this is nice. These are usually all destroyed and broken. See this one fin here? These things get broken off all the time. Even on my E55, it was destroyed. I had to get the new owner of that car a new one from the dealer. For 100 bucks, they still sell it. But uh, yeah, looks totally stock, factory cats. And hang on, I don't think this thing has a rear main seal leak, which is kind of weird. Well, there's a zip tie holding it in right there. But no, look at this. This is very, very rare. There's no leak at all from the rear main. The transmission's not leaking, just bone dry. Wow, look at these thrust arm bushings are brand new. Control arm bushings, brand new. I'm sure the aromatic pump has been replaced. That sticker looks a little too nice. Oh, the balancer's perfect. I am liking this mechanically. This is in great shape. This is not leaking, but that uh, bolt has seen better days. Uh, rear end, bone dry. These air springs, uh, I don't know if they're original or not. They look pretty clean, but they don't really leak much. I mean, it has to sit for like three or four months uh, for it to be the way it was in the beginning of the video. Um, and then on second glance, these tires are not in the best of condition here in the rear. A little bit of inner wear going on there. These front snow tires are decent though. And the brakes look pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we need to do brakes on it. They'll probably measure within spec. So we're good to go there. So even though we have this damage here on the front bumper, the oil cooler looks to have not been touched. So that is good. So naturally all the stuff that I could easily do, all the mechanical work, it doesn't really need any of, and it needs body work, which is something I don't do. But luckily I'm at Mancuso Collision Custom in Glenview, my body shop. If you guys live anywhere near Chicago and you need anything done to your car, you gotta check these guys out. Their painters are amazing, which you guys are gonna see in the next video. Uh, because we are going to be fixing up the rust, doing a bunch of paintwork, taking out some dents, replacing a bumper. This thing is going to be nice in the next episode, guaranteed. The Alcantara headliner is really, really nice. Uh, the back seats I did take a look at before I crammed all this stuff back here, and they look like they've never been sat in. And this has the nice wood grain. I like this wood grain much better than what's in my other wagon, and none of it's cracked. Excellent, excellent condition. The stereo works, the old school navigation works. Uh, they already marked off what we're going to be fixing. So we get the rust there, paint this rear bumper. Uh, then it came with the factory wheels and tires. Although this one is deflated and I'm sure these are bent and, 
and cracked and whatever so i'll have to get those over to my wheel guy and have them fixed up and in typical legit street cars fashion the next video i'm going to give it all to you from start to finish so you're going to see the car just like this with all of its issues and then by the end of the video it's going to be all finished painted mechanically fixed i'm doing it all in one video we're not going to drag this out at all so i really hope you guys stay tuned for that uh, and as always again follow me on instagram and facebook if you guys want a sneak peek to all these crazy weird little projects so anyway with that being said i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did let me know hit the thumbs up button throw a comment down below share the video subscribe if you're new do all these little easy things that are totally free to you but really help me out uh, most importantly though have an awesome day and i'll catch all of you in the next video 2005 e55 amg spacian wagon ah. one of only 129 brought for made for this year okay Welcome to Legit Alex's Auto Sale. I am Legit Alex, and today I am fine to, fine, okay, to reserve this beautiful car for yourself. All it takes. I copied off myself. I bought an exact duplicate. Well, I performed the ultimate car. Well, I performed, and all that for the low price, and all that for 72 easy payments of 0, 0.0, and all that for, and all of that for 72 easy payments of 0.0000 a month. And another home run from Legit Alex's auto sale. And another home run from Legit Alex's auto sale. What could be your next new ride? Oh yeah.